Vehicle Services and Training have teamed up to create this video, which goes over the updated operating instructions for our Smeal 105 foot rear mount plants. They've added a couple changes, which we will go over in this video, which will ensure the safe, reliable operation of the waterway. Your ladder is equipped with a positional waterway feature that secures the monitor at the tip of the fly section or at the end of the next lower section. This video outlines the manufacturer's instructions on how to select the mode of the waterway. Your daily truck check needs to include a visual inspection of the latching arm shown in this picture, checking for cracks or bends in the tabs that lock the arms in place, and confirming that it is latched in either the rescue mode or water tower mode. We'll go over first changing the position of the monitor from rescue mode to water tower mode. Some things to remember is if flowing water through the waterway, shut this off and open a waterway drain. Next, you'll want to confirm that the ladder is fully retracted, ensuring that all sections are firmly seated together. An additional step to confirm that your ladder is fully retracted is to elevate the ladder to 20 degrees or more, confirming that the waterway as well as each ladder section is bedded down in place. At the pedestal, move the positional waterway selector switch from rescue to tower mode. The indicator light by rescue will turn off. You will then count slowly to 10 seconds Ensure that the indicator light by water tower has illuminated. This shows that the change in position is complete. When we make the transition from rescue to water tower mode, we want to make a visual inspection ensuring that the system is latched to the end of the fly section. This image shows that the tabs are engaged into the fly section of the ladder confirming that it is in water tower mode. As you extend the ladder, watch the monitor to verify that it is in the correct position, extending with the fly section. You're going to follow these same steps when you're transitioning from water tower mode to rescue mode. Remember, if flowing water through the waterway, shut this off and open a waterway drain. Fully retract the ladder, ensuring that all sections are firmly seated together. Once again, we will elevate the ladder to at least 20 degrees, confirming that the ladder as well as the waterway is bedded in place. At the pedestal, move the positional waterway selector switch from water tower to rescue mode. The indicator light by water tower will turn off. You will then count slowly to 10 seconds. After that, ensure that the indicator light by rescue has illuminated. This shows that the change of position is complete. Once you have made the transition from water tower mode to rescue mode, you want to make visual confirmation confirming that it is latched in the correct position. This image shows that the monitor is secured to the next section back from the fly section. The reason for this is to avoid damage to the monitor when working near structures. Once you have visually confirmed the latching mechanism being engaged in rescue mode, you still want to watch the waterway making sure it's extending up in rescue mode. Thanks for watching. We hope you got something out of this. Uh, as a reminder, if you ever have any questions on our trucks, equipment, how to operate any of it, feel free to contact me or vehicle services for training. Uh, just want to close with one more thing. Another reminder, the safest, most efficient way to fight fire with these trucks is in water tower mode. The safest and most efficient way to perform a rescue is in rescue mode.